Hi everyone, so I have some really, really important information that I think everyone with any chronic illness should know. And I never see anyone talking about this when it comes to chronic illness in the ME, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia community, uh, Lyme, whatever. I really do think that at the end of the day, you treat, I would treat any illness the same. So, and that is the biology of human starvation. Now, a common uh, problem with people with illnesses is they tend to undereat. Just because I did, I used to skip breakfast, have a late lunch, one meal a day, 1500 calories, that was it. Um, so, I never really understood uh, the impact that has. And it goes all the way back to humans and how we evolved. Now, I used to be under the mistaken belief that the reason humans evolved was what's pounded into us because we ate meat. Now, that's not the case. The case is, is because we learned to cook food and were able to have bigger quantities of calorie dense foods that fueled our brains more because it was more calories going into the body. We were able to get more calories in that provided more energy to the body and to the brain to develop. Now, that is so important. <laughs> now, I was probably having 15 to 1600 calories a day for a long time during my illness and it was a big downfall in my illness as well. It didn't help things. Now, as you know, uh, what I've said in every single video is that illnesses are not caused by one thing. They're just not. If, every, if illnesses were caused by one single factor, everyone would be ill. So, the biology of human starvation, I'll put it on the screen. And it goes through all the changes that they, they had during that time. And if you go down the list, it is so similar to many of the symptoms people have with chronic fatigue. I'm not, I'm not saying the, the bottom line of chronic fatigue is starvation, not at all. I'm just saying it's a big part that you need to look at. There's so many different parts when it comes to illness like this. And this is definitely a big part for me. Um, so the physical changes. Decreased in body size, especially upper arms. Decreased in heart volume. Slow pulse rate. All these things like POTS for example. Uh, when you stand up you get blurry eyed. Even blackout sometimes. You get dizzy. All these symptoms I had of POTS were, I think, caused by my lack of calories into my body. Uh, amongst other things, obviously. But it, I really do think that calories in has a big part to play in the body's deterioration. Your body, when it gets used to these low calories, and I really do believe that the body just slowly, slowly declines over time, getting used to this low calorie input with energy. So... Subjects felt cold, complained of cold hands and feet. This is something that I had completely. Um, I had ice cold hands and I had something called Raynor symptoms uh, syndrome where half of my fingernails, I'll put a picture on the screen, were half purple and blue, half of my fingernails. And my hands were ice cold no matter what, even if the radios were full blast. I, won't, I don't want to make this video too long and boring for you, you can check it out yourself, but I'll put the symptoms on the screen and you can just pause it and look at them yourself and see if you relate to them. And if you do relate to them, honestly, have a look at your diet, look how many calories you're taking in and really consider the fact that low calories could be contributing to your problems, along with diet, um, sleep, all the other things that I've mentioned in my other videos. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you this to your attention. And uh, give you something to think about. But yeah, I just wanted to add to the end of this video. The biggest impact I had on my how I changed the way I live was when I started listening to Durham Rider. All his advice that he has given, I have followed, and I have got to where I am now. Every single piece of advice he's given. My state of mind, being thankful, being grateful my calories, my sleep, everything he mentions, I've implemented into my life. Bottom line, I've just listened to Durian Rider. I mean, sure, there's other things that I've learned on my own, but a majority of my advice that I have taken and experienced for myself to have worked 
is Dune Riders of Vice. And again, this video about the uh, biology of human starvation, this is something else that I learned through Dune Rider. So if you don't know who he is, I'll put a link in the description, and he is worth following. He's very blunt, but that's something that I needed to change. Uh, if I had gone to another person, the amount of YouTube channels uh, to do with health that I'd followed over the years of being ill, um, that were not blunt, just general fady advice, I never really implemented it properly, I just didn't seem to care. It was that bluntness that snapped me out of that way of thinking, and really decided to change everything. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're if you looking for other people to watch on YouTube, definitely Duran Rider is a good person to start with.